Okay, here's part two of my card that I made from my beautiful sister. Um, this one's, second one's going to be a little bit different because I ran out of this beautiful ribbon that I got from the Crafty RN. And um, I loved... If you've known me for a while, you know I, I've said before, I don't really like purple. <laughs> um, and that's not really true. I like purple as an accent. And so I've been, I used this all up because I loved it as an accent. So I'm going to use a different color. Okay, here's our base that I ran through. If you didn't watch the first video, I ran that through the Tropical Paisley Cuddle Bug Embossing Folder. And here is the shape card that I created in the first video. I showed you how to do it on your Gypsy. And this is, these are from Lacy Labels. Okay. So this is just recollections paper, so it's very thin. Okay, but because this is going to be double right here, I um, it's a little bit weightier once we do that. Okay, now on the first one, I went around the edges of the white with the tea dye, and I'm not going to do that this time. I kind of want a more crisp um, Hard, but I am going to do it around these pieces right here after I do the stamping. Okay, and I'm going to show you. I'm, the stamp I'm using that says age is merely the number of years the world has been enjoying you. I found this one at Joann's one day. There was only one of them, and I love it. I think that was the day the stamp ban began. I'm still on a stamp ban, but Robin bought me a new stamp. So it's okay if others buy it. I just, I'm on a stamp ban and I'm going to stick to it. Alright, so, I don't want to glue this down yet, only because I'm going to use white embossing powder. Does that music bother you guys in the background? If it does, I will not do videos with the music playing, but ever since I discovered Pandora, I've been playing music in my kitchen. When I'm cooking, when I'm crafting, cleaning, I love music. Okay. Especially worshipful music. It keeps me on a right, um, with the right attitude, I guess, because it's, you know, you can't praise God and have a bad attitude at the same time, so that helps me. It's a little bit of my personal life there for you. Okay, so I'm going to, um, uh, you, I didn't even share, this is my stamp -a jig I stamped on here with um, some black ink, and then this will help me line up my stamp. So that it's on straight and it's in the center. Okay. And I'm using some Versamark because, like I said, we're going to emboss this with white. Our embossing. This is, this is how I keep my embossing powder in one of these containers. I'm going to use my tweezers and then I just keep a white a spoon in there to. I didn't use my embossing pillow thingy. I should have. I'm trying to get this done. I have tons of laundry to get done and cleaning to do. I Something else about me that you'll know is if you visit me, I will not do laundry. I will not clean my house. I just don't do everything, anything like that because I feel that that's, that can be done anytime and I'm not going to miss out on visiting. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm not tempted to because I'm um, if you know the story of Mary and Martha in the New Testament, yeah, I tend to be more of the Martha that just wants to run around doing busy work, and I just try really hard not 
to be like that because we don't see, you know, those people very often. So anyway, now my house is in shambles. All right. And that's okay, you know. Okay, here we go. This is the Heat It tool from Ranger that I happen to like because it's not so noisy. But I still have the Stampin' Up! one that I ordered. And that one's a great one. I, I believe it's the best one out there on the market. I just like the quietness of this one. It's something else about me. I don't, I don't like noisy things. Alright, so now we've got this embossed with white ink. I love it. I mean white embossing powder. Now we're going to do the antique linen. I mean not antique linen, the tea dye. Just a little. Just to kind of give it a little something extra. I'm playing all my favorites. I <laughs> I knew about Pandora. Um, just knew, you know, I had a knowledge of it. But I just never really checked into it till I was watching one of you out there. I can't remember who it was because it's been a while. And she was giving a room tour and she said, oh, and there's my laptop. I listened to Pandora on it and I thought, oh, brilliant. Yes. So I went to it and now I'm all hooked up with that. Okay. All right, so there we go. Okay, ATG. And this paper is the Recollections cardstock from Michaels, the open stock. It has kind of like a texture to it, if you can tell. It looks like a linen type look. And then this bottom one is coordinations from the canvas texture from Joann's. Okay, now we're going to put this layer on there. And I'm going to use my glue that I got at Hob uh, Tuesday morning. And if you didn't hear me say this already, I like this one. It's not quick dry so you can move it around and if it oozes out the side it doesn't leave a big like a gluey residue the way that scratch quick dry does and I like that. So I bought an extra one but I'm having a, a urge to hoard it <laughs> and I don't want to be a hoarder. Okay, isn't that pretty? I love lacy labels for that reason. It's so pretty. Okay, now I'm just going to go around the edges of the flower. That's another layer. Okay, and I'm going to add a little, a little something. I'm just going to use this pansy purple from close to my heart. Just to give that a little pattern. Because it's a pretty plain card. Okay, so that's going to go and you could pop this up, but I'm not doing it right now. It's going to, because I'm going to put a pearl in the center this, but I'm going to do that at the end, and I'm also going to add the green stickles to the green. So I've got to add the ribbon now. Um, oh, and then to the inside of the card, I put happy birthday. So let's do that right now. 
And I'm just going to eyeball this one because it's okay. Oh, I just moved it. <laughs> I lined it up so I could keep it straight. Okay. It's okay if it's not straight, you know. It really is. See, it's crooked, I can tell. But it's okay. That shows that it was handmade. If it's too straight, it looks computer generated and store bought, and that's not what we're trying to do here. We want the person to know I made this with love for you. Alright, this is um just some paper, some purpley ribbon I got at the Dollar Tree. That's where I got my ribbon. Now I gotta make sure before I tape this down that I have this all the way to the side so that my sentiment piece, oh I love this one, I like this one better than my original. I might not put glitter on it, I might do pens maybe, yeah that's where I want the ribbon. Okay, so I just tape it. With just plain old regular everyday scotch tape to the top, to the back here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm waiting for my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper that broke. <laughs> I have had quite the time with my tools, but you know what the good news is that I have found out that we have some wonderful companies out there that have wonderful customer service and We Are Memory Keepers is now on my list. I sent them an email one day in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep and they returned, they responded to that email immediately. And what it turned out is that I'm, I just paid $5 to get it replaced. And I don't have to send it back either. It's this. Let me show you while I'm telling you. See this little thing right here? That thing broke. And that's what, ha what allows you to line it up perfectly. I could still use it, but it's not like, I mean, it's just not the way the tool is intended to be. So, yeah. So I'm waiting for that. It should be here any minute. Maybe today, I don't know. We'll see. But five dollars is great. All right. Okay, let's uh, finish this up. Just gonna put some ATG on the back. You want to be generous when you have an embossed layer because uh, all those bumpies, you know, it will come up if you don't. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. I hope she does too. She likes purple. My sister likes purple. I think she does. She used to. Sometimes people change. I should ask her. Do you still like purple? Because I always make sure to put make her cards are always something purple in it. If you're my friend on Facebook, check out my wall. There's a video of my niece trying to do Just Dance with my sister-in-law and my niece and it is hilarious. Adorable. It's so cute. She's so smart. I tell you. I told her. I told you she was a genius. She's so stinking cute. Okay, now we're going to add the pearl to the middle. Now this is quite raised because it's two layers right there. So what I did to make sure the pearl doesn't 
fall off because this is just a Michael's dollar bin pearl. I'm using one of my homemade glue dots, which I make with the Aileen's Tack It over and over again. Okay. And that's good. But I wanted to add a little more pearliness to this. So we're going to add those. And I got these also from the Crafty RN. And I'm running low. I need to order some of those. I'm trying not to order stuff, you know, I really am. Maybe when I go to the expo. I'm going to be at the expo at the Michaels booth if you're coming. Um, please come see me and um, please identify yourself. I'd love to meet you. It's um, May 19th, May 18th is the Friday. That's when I'm going to be there for Michaels. So come on by. We're going to have cricket machines and stuff. I would love to meet you. So maybe there'll be a vendor that sells these flat back pearls there. That's it. I hope Amy likes it. Happy belated birthday, my sweet sister. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.